Hello, hello. Welcome back to Crazy Games. We're in Genshin Impact. And we are continuing. Hey, there's Celestia up there. Cool. Anyways, we're continuing uh, the Archon quest. Well, what Behoyo have done is made it so that... See, if I track this, it says I have to complete um, this quest before I can actually go in there. They've actually kind of combined um, world quests in uh into the archon quest so you can't just like independently do the archon quest you got to do some of the world quests or at least this world quest before actually continue the archon one so yeah let's just continue the Ar the world quest here looking look for the adventurer g g what g Chiong. you have accepted a commission that requires you to pay the ch chasm a visit who knows what the situation in the long sealed mines might be like. I feel like my uh, reading comprehension has really deteriorated from like the previous videos, the 2.5 videos. I'm like tripping up on words constantly. Maybe it's because this time around there's a lot more like uh, Romanized Chinese words and uh, that's tripping me up. And uh, my constant like confusion between chasm and chasm is also. <laughs> tripping me up too. I keep having to correct myself to say chasm. <laughs> but yeah. Um I might have probably cut all of that a lot of that out in my previous video, but I'll I'll keep trying my best reading all this stuff. Superstitious seven star seal sendering. So apparently all across this chasm uh the Chi Sing has put like this seal on to make it so that regular people can't go into the chasm. And uh, get hurt, I guess, just to protect the people around here. And uh, Mooning over there was telling us that uh, to stay away from that place, but we're like, <laughs> adventure awaits, and uh, we're just gonna pretty much ignore what he says. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, make our way down there. Woo! Uh, I always feel like when I first enter an area, I should avoid like gliding and climbing too much and just use like the scenic route, the the routes that is like telegraphed, I guess, by the map more just to, I don't know, make it feel closer <laughs> to um, what the, the devs have envisioned people would travel through this place to kind of like mimic that. But yeah, let's do this um, chest real quick. Woo, my very first chest in this area. Oh man, there's going to be chests again, and um, depending on how much they are, the primo gems will add up. Like, even though I only got two primo gems there, finding the chests around the world, is, it feels really rewarding, and um, you you before you notice, your primo gems would just have added up, like, a lot. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I've been saving primo gems, actually. Uh, it is currently the Ayato banner and the Venti banner. I have not decided uh, who to wish on yet. At this point, I still haven't done any wishes on these banners. Uh, it is currently a Thursday or a Wednesday. The update just came out on a, on a Tuesday for me. And uh, I just kind of did like regular dailies and stuff that day. So I didn't have a chance to like sit down, get comfortable and record myself, play the story. <laughs> <laughs> but since today's Wednesday, I started the story, but I usually do like a wish video, like record a wish video on Thursday, edit it, and get it rendered and ready for Friday. So yeah, I've not actually made the decision who to wish on at this point. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know, I feel like even as, as hot as this boy is and as cute as this boy is, I think I have... <laughs> I am still in favor of Ayaka more, which is in the next banner after this. But at the same time, I have neither of these characters. So getting at least one of them would be nice too. So that in the future, um, if I get one, I can like focus on the other or something or however it works. <laughs> I'm thinking I'd probably be leaning more towards Fenty since this is a rerun for him. And who knows when he will, he, when he'll be back the next time around. But since this is like the first um, chance to get uh, Ayato, like the, for his first banner, he'll probably come back 
in like three point something like sooner than um venti since uh a good amount of the player base probably has venti or had a chance to get venti whereas this time around this is like the first time anyone has had the chance to get ayato Anyways, we're supposed to like get rid of these things or something like that. Anyway. Hey Ji Xiong. There's no voice acting in this world quest, so I don't know how to pronounce this lady's name. I can actually read this. Hui Shan Um Hall Warning Sign. Key site. Bedrock key up ahead. No unauthorized access. Those who damage this structure will invite the personal wrath of the Qi Sin. If you have any questions, direct them to Specialist Mooning at the campsite. Uh, hey, how are you doing, adventurer? Ah, it's you. Hello there. Hmm, was that a good voice for her? I don't know. Ah, it's you. Hello there. Mooning was the one who introduced me. This is his. Ah, yes. Forget that sheet of paper. I already know who you are just fine. That Mooning... All he does is put on airs and write papers. Everything's gotta follow this or that procedure and all that tripe. You know, stuff that makes you look important. I couldn't care less for that stuff. In any case, your name is already well known throughout the Adventurers Guild. Never mind any of your other contributions to Li Yue. I'm that famous? Well, uh... This is me we're talking about, I guess. That's right! We're the legendary duo. Oh wait, no, that's Paimon saying it. That's right! We're the legendary duo, Lumine and Paimon! Of course, many new recruits at the guild have heard of your exploits on Dragonspine from Iris. <laughs> that includes me, you know. Piercing that frigid blizzard to open a path, discovering an ancient, forgotten kingdom beneath the ice and frost, breaching the perilous summit, confronting... The great change that comes over that place with a mortal form? The things you've experienced, the obstacles you've overcome, the truth you've uncovered, they can be summed up in one word. Adventure! True adventure! Uh, precisely? Ah, uh, someone give me a compass. I don't know what this is, uh, referencing. It seems like it is referencing something. Ah, uh, someone give me a compass. Uh, precisely. Wow! This actually quite a shock to Paimon. Are we really that awesome? Haha. -ha. And this isn't even the, mentioning the great battle you had with that sea monster on the Jade Chamber. Now I wasn't there to witness it, mind you. But I haven't missed a single telling of that story. Huh? So there are stories about us too? Of course. They are very popular in the city. You know, if you ask me, I'd say that Tea Master Liu Su and Iron Tongue Tian are both good in their own ways, but I just prefer Iron... <coughs> um, I'm not too familiar with the storytelling tradition. Oh, don't worry. I get it. I get it. Iron Tongue Tian's style is definitely not for everyone. I do sometimes find that his choice of words and phrases feature too much slang. But as for Liu, Liu Xue, Xu, Liu Xu, he takes a while to get going, you know. Sometimes you're there for two hours before you start going, oh hey, this is pretty good. Some people like that style, but I find it uninteresting. And if you mean to say that, this is just a story, it won't get stale. Let me just say this, if this were food or drink, we were talking about, it would surely go bad if we wrapped it up and covered it for half a day without opening it. <laughs> I guess um, Lumine wants us to get to the point and she's just like rambling. She's like me. I ramble a lot <laughs> about random things. <laughs> I think that I wasn't all that interested in the storytelling. Yeah, yeah. We don't really know what you mean by all this. Uh, uh, sorry. I got a little too excited there and didn't really consider if you were interested in what I was saying. <laughs> Still, since you're here, Lumine... Are you here at the Chi Sing's behest? Did Muning end up revealing some information to you? Um, you know, like... Don't touch the bedrock keys. There's nothing under the chasm. Chi Chi Chung won't help you. You know, 
Stuff like that, repeated over and over. Muning did indeed tell us that. Ah, well, he didn't scare us. <laughs> indeed, he wasn't doing that at all. Eh? So all the things he mentions are... True? <laughs> well, Mooning is, in the end, a specialist hired by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Even if he wanted to ask for help, there's a lot that he's not allowed to reveal in public. So he can only warn us, and thus impart the meaning of getting into the chasm to you in a roundabout way. In essence, when he says you shouldn't, he really means you can. <laughs> what a weird guy! In any case, he also mentioned that he wrote you a certificate and told you to come find me. That note which you can now carry means that you have the authorizi authorization to travel through the chasm without any obstruction. Of course, barring any personal intervention by the Qi Xing. And the fact that he suggested that you find me means that I should tell you the way into the depths of the chasm. Eh? That muning, what a convoluted way of hinting. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I apologize for all the covering up that we're doing. But trust me, we have a very good reason for doing so. While the thing that they dug up under the chasm is truly abnormal, our investigations cannot be done without, with too much pomp and ceremony, lest the people be alarmed. That is the Qi Xing's standing order. As such, we can only function under the cover of no entry order, secretly gathering explorers and scholars to enter the chasm and conduct investigations. This is all to, if necessary and where possible, stave off the crisis that festers beneath the earth. So are the uh, people at the encampment. Oh, okay. So that's why, in my previous video, I said that Mondstadt poet guy was a little bit weird. But I guess uh, he's part of, like, a crew of people who want to explore the chasm for inspiration, I guess. <laughs> so all the people at the encampment were dot 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 question mark. That's right. They were all bought on as support staff. They're all pretty reliable. Uh, well, mostly. Now you came here? It's also no coincidence. More than one big shot in Chi Sing has already recommended that we enlist your aid. And honestly, we've really reason not... We've little reason not to um, comply. Oh man, my reading is so bad. Ugh. In any case, it is also that your aid is not necessarily difficult to enlist. Eh? Doesn't that mean that we're, we were tricked? Well, Paimon, time to leave. Oh, is that how it is? See ya then. See ya, smell ya later. Eh, aren't we at least going to ask them what they're offering? Ah, uh, please wait. I was just passing on my superior's message. Those are her words, not mine. Just, uh, let me take those words back, alright? Bye. Come on, this is the Chi C we're talking about. They won't shortchange you for your aid. It's not as if I'm short on Mora or anything. I am actually really short on Mora. <laughs> I've been trying to uh, crown uh, Jean. And uh, the last like few levels is like half a million. Like from level 8 to level 9 is like almost half a million Mora. And from level 9 to level 10 is like... Three quarters of a million of a million. So seven hundred and fifty thousand Mora. <laughs> and one like leyline blossom for Mora is just like what is like sixty thousand? So you need like ten of those. And it won't even that's only six hundred. <laughs> that won't even get you enough Mora to advance um uh level nine to level ten. Ugh. <laughs> I don't exactly need help putting missing person posters this time. Then why don't you just ask for someone else this time? <coughs> well, if you could mitigate the safety hazards in the chasm, any underground treasures or valuable valuables will be given to the ones who discover them. Nice. This is a special privilege given by the Chi Xing, just to the two of you. Really? No tricks now? Well, in that case, <laughs> plundering time. And Paimon's treasure time begins once again. Well, you see, the chasm is such a big place. Just imagine how much treasure there's going to be for our taking. Ha ha ha. Alright, alright. 
Can we safely say that you've accepted this commission then? Alright, we'll do it for you, Paimon. <laughs> That's right! Again, let me apologize for wasting your time on all those other things. Let's get down to business, shall we? If we wish to enter the chasm, we first need to find an adjuvant. An adjuvant? Made from a material known as lumen stones. Only with it can we move the dark down move in the dark down there. Only those with visions can use this adjuvant. But considering that you can use elemental energies without a vision, it's my guess that you have no problem making use of the ad adjuvant. Adjuvant? So um where do you uh we find this thing? It's in a warehouse to the south. The warehouse is well guarded, so it should be pretty secure. Just come once just come back once you've gotten a hold of the catalyst. Wow, that was a, a lot of reading. <laughs> that was like a good, what, 15 minutes of reading? What does she say now? Don't worry, I won't run off. Don't worry, I won't run off. Just retrieve the Lumen Stone adjuvant and things will be go fine. As much as I want to like explore this area and stuff, I'll just stick with the story. Someone needs assistance. Or try to stick close to the quest. As much of the quest as possible. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to go this way, right? Hmm. Is that, um, poor lapis or something? Wow! Hmm, there's a well here. Very nice. Ah! Alright, ooh, all that reading is actually kind of hard on my voice. Come on, no one's guarding this place at all! Uh, I have to stop moving and use this. Oh, I can't read all that stuff in time. Especially when I'm, like, having to fight. Oh crap, we've been discovered! Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, didn't that clip Topo guy say that there was no one standing guard? Uh, there was no one standing guard. You guys got just got unlucky and caught us here at the same time. Oh, is that what it is? This should this should be the thing. She almost oh, I can't read that on time. I wonder why uh, they decide to put dialogue on like that. Especially when they don't even let you like read through it. <laughs> they might as well had us like uh, interact with this and then like have a little cutscene where Paimon says that line. I guess it's like only one line so there's no point um, entering in cutscene mode to do that. I was half expecting there to be a little bit of a cutscene. <laughs> When I did actually take it, but apparently there isn't, so. Ha! Investigate. Yahaha! Is that a yahaha moment? No, it's just more, uh... Old storehouse renovation notice. Due to the recent sudden surge of anomalies within the chasm, the renovation of the storehouse have been stopped. All workers, please halt work and stand for the further notice. The old warehouse, the old storehouse, will be kept as is for the use of the Millilith and the Ministry staff who may come to observe the area. Okay. Well, let's make our way back. I'm like a little bit not used to Genshin Impact's like control style. In uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, you click the control stick down to run, and I've been like clicking that to run when it's actually like the right bumper. <laughs> All right, Chi Chong, Chiong, 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 Chi Chong. Where? We're back, you big liar. Uh, me? Well, what happened? No, no one was guarding the warehouse at all. There were even treasure hoarders over there. And even they were wondering why no one was guarding the place. Huh? That shouldn't be the case. 
When I was guarding the place, the treasure hoarders wouldn't even dare come near it. Wait a moment! Who did you say was guarding the warehouse again? Uh, me? Well, are you guarding it right now? Well, come on now. Which adventurer in their right mind would let themselves get tied down with such a boring task, am I right? Whoa. Oh, that's, uh... That weird, like, floaty thing is, um... Raiden Shogun's, like, effect. <laughs> da 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 dun Ah, right! Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Well, putting your derelictions of duty to one side for the time being. Let's talk about how we undo the array instead, shall we? Right! Right! right. Ring! Honestly, I'm not too sure about how the bedrock key works, but you could start from looking into the cage say, shaped geo-elemental formations over there. What is that? These strange... For me, I feel like I changed her voice. The, these strange formations have been puzzling the Ministry of Civil Affairs for some time now. They seem to have grown up from the bedrock of the chasm over the last two years, and their properties are very similar to those of the thing underground. Ooh. Big brown thing turn into big brown stick? We say this because we can go undergo some kind of disintegration one under the influence of the anomalies. Later... Hui Shan Hall's investigations revealed that they have been absorbing chill elemental energy from the surroundings, slowly eroding the structures of the bedrock keys. In a most ominous phenomenon, almost like something is cautiously trying to break the ceiling arrays. We have to clear them out twice every month, but they will always grow back quickly, and they have only grown back quicker over time. Perhaps that thing below is growing restless. And this is why the Qi Xing has sent us to investigate. Boring. Uh, look for a way to destroy the bedrock keys. Wait, we just hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, look for a way to destroy the bedrock keys. If you wish to enter the chasm, you find you might find some way to dispel the magical array set up by the Li Yue Qi Xing. The key to accomplishing such a deed lies in destroying the bedrock keys that surround the area. Uh, small scale mining operations have been approved at the chasm. At Catherine's introduction, the miner commissions you to investigate a certain uh, anomalies within the chasm, but you'll need to find a way into the chasm first. Okay. Wait, 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 again. Are we supposed to destroy those things? I thought those things are destroying that thing that the Chi Sing picked up, and we want to destroy the thing that the Chi Sing put up so that we can enter the chasm, right? So don't we want to strengthen that thing instead of destroy it? And also, there's Primo Gems to be had here. Cage-shaped Geo Formations. These are natural precipitates that occur around the bedrock key using used to seal the chasm. When outside forces powered by a Geo Granum hit them, they will fire crystal projectiles. Uh, the firing direction depends on the direction from which they took a hit. Perhaps they might be able to affect the bedrock key in some way? Yeah, one whole primo gem. So I have to go up to this thing and do this. Uh, remove the bedrock key. We should try hitting these formations and use the shard to release the affected bedrock key, perhaps. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess we are strengthening these with uh, more Geo Granum energy so that we can destroy it. But why does it say... Like, the wording for this is a little bit odd to me. <laughs> But I guess, uh, in a technical sense, we are destroying these things at the same time as we are destroying those things. Even though we are being told that these things, the stronger these things are, the weaker the seal is. So, <laughs> there's a little bit of a weirdness there. Maybe it makes more sense in another language. Wow, 
Wow, that's one of them. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. One, two, three, four, six. Because there's seven of them, right? Well, that should do it, says Paimon. Wow, it fell down. Can we pick it up? Does it uh, give us anything cool? Oh. Interesting. Okay. What does uh, Chi Chong has to say? Chi Chong. Chi Chong. Ah, you destroyed, I mean, undid the bindings on the bedrock key so easily. Guess we were right to put our faith in you two. I'm quite sure we just damaged public property. Won't the Chi Xin investigate this matter? Uh, eh, Mooning has already sent a damage report ahead of us, so technically the bedrock keys were damaged before we arrived, not after. Heh, heh, heh. Well, that leaves four more. That we need to handle. Wait, why is it called the seven star seal if there's only five of them? <laughs> ah, yes, I've drawn a basic diagram that shows where three of the four are. I hope it'll be of use to you. Very nice. Can I zoom into it? There's a little picture. She like drew a little picture of herself on it. So, yeah, so let's go down in a spiral manner. As for the last one, honestly, I'm not sh very sure where that is anymore. After the miners were dismissed, there was a seepage incident in that mine, causing the cylinder to be submerged under the water. Wait, we get to go underwater now? Or do we need to, like, uh, play with the water levels or something in order to reach it? In any case, just settle the other three sites. We'll meet af up after that and think about what to do next. Not coming along with us? At this time, I mean, I was originally assigned to guard the warehouse, but thanks to my slip-up, I nearly let the treasure hoarders in there. Honestly, I'm already in your debt for not reporting my error. Things could get bad if Mooning catches me and puts me on the trail of some errand again, so I'll just stand guard as I should. For now. Still, I believe that this riddle will be no match for you two at all. No match for the two of you at all. Oh man. Be a little bit more dyslexic than usual. <laughs> oh, what did I get? I got a bunch of stuff here. Lumen stone. A special stone mined from the depths of the chasm. It is said that it has catalytic property. It almost blaze with, blazes with light in the gloomy mines, but it loses all such effect the moment one leaves the chasm. It seems to have another unique property as well that have yet to be discovered. A simple bedrock key location. Now, a simple diagram that Jin Wu, who's Jin Wu, drew in haste. In it, it indicates the general uh, location of several bedrock keys. Cool. Was there anything else? Oh, there wasn't. Okay. So I'm supposed to just kind of spiral downwards. Okay. Or. <gasps> There's so much stuff to do, but I'll just uh, take the scenic route. I guess I don't really have a map to check, so. Oh well. Wait, what just happened? Exploration knowledge. Unique rocks. A mysterious, uniquely shaped rock related to the special rock pillar nearby. It seems to be able to receive a certain resonance from those pillars. Perhaps the number of symbols on the rock have something to do with the number of resonance it receives in a short period of time. Uh, unique rock pillars. Legend has it that these are scars left over from an ancient battle. When hit by explosions or blunt force trauma, they can cause a resonance quake with other similar rock pillars and certain geostructures. Uh, I think we read that one already. Yeah. So apparently hitting that killed the hilly churl there and revealed this chest. Ooh, wonderful. How wonderful. There's a Sealy here. Where are you going to take me, silly? Silly? Uh. <laughs> uh. 
There is no escape. As a good night should. That's how you mind, silly. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh. I have C6 Noel. The wrong test subject. And she is amazing. Doing all those voices, that's really... Like, my throat kind of hurts now. Maybe I'll refrain from doing the voices from now on. Just to protect my vo voice a little. Whoa. Where are you taking me? Senpai? Well, I guess I'm supposed to go this way, right? Treasure chest. Woo! A reward on the road. Hmm. No, I'll go this way. It seems like that's this direction I'm supposed to go anyway. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have an arrow character. I can actually hit him. Oh no, I've been debuffed or something. Well, this place actually looks pretty huge if it has like verticality to it. Do you want to? Do we? Should we fight that big boy down there? Nah. Unless we have to. Here's one of those keys. Let's blow it up. Okay. Steady as still. Go as one. Drop. Time to clean up. Starfall. There is no escape. Come on. Where's the other slime? Did it die from fall damage? I kind of feel like I wasted that uh, ult. But that's okay. I guess she gets her... Um, gets her elemental burst back pretty frequently. So we gotta stick this thing in here. This is the weird cage thing. So I release some fragment, right? Then I'm supposed to... Wata! Wata! Wait, how am I supposed to... Like, hit it up like... What? Hmm... Am I supposed to be down here and hit it? Will I possibly need to... Shoot up at it. I'm what? I just killed this hilly trail. What's this thing? Archaic stone. Is this new? Oh, it is. Is it a resource of some kind? Nope. It is a key I or quest item. A strange rare ore that has mined from the chasm. These rocks can only be found in the ore veins in the oldest mountain. It is so rare that most merchants have probably never heard of it. However, the changes in the chasm have led to an emergence of such low quality archaic stones. In fact, a fact that has given the merchants of Hoi Shan Hall quite a headache. Okay, I still, I'm still not really sure how I'm supposed to like aim this upwards, especially, especially since um, uh, I can't like aim upwards. Oh, well, let's go to a different one. <laughs> oh, there's a sign here. 
Key site. That rock key up ahead. No unauthorized access. Those who damage the structure will be prisoners. Blah, 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 blah. I think we read. There's the same sign as before. All right, we're gonna fight that big boy there. Hey, big boy, how are you doing? Illusion shattered. Barbados, guide us. I must leave no stone on. As a good knight should. chest I don't know maybe I should end things soon and just do the rest of this by myself since um it is literally just like walking from place to place and like doing the same thing which I can assume is not that interesting <laughs> to watch and uh, right now I don't feel like I don't I don't feel like I'm not like in the mood to entertain for some reason Especially since I did all those voices and my uh, my throat kind of hurts. Ah <laughs> uh, well. So what am I supposed to do? All right. So this one will hit for sure. Oh, okay, I get it. So I do this one, it hits, and when it lowers, I go to the other one. Gotcha. Oh, that's the slime that, apparently... That's the slime that apparently did not die. Immune? Woo! And then now this one should hit since it's been lowered. Or not. I do something wrong. There we go. A Celia appeared. Whoa, two got um destroyed with that one. It's gone! Paimon wonders how these cage shaped things. Blah 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 couldn't read it in time. Paimon couldn't read it in time. Where's this, where's this, uh, Sealy gonna take me? Whoa! Whoa! Whoop! Yo, slime! Shine down! That Geo slime was protecting a chest, apparently. Man, you really gotta. Oh wait, no, it's the Steely who landed. <laughs> hmm. I was like, oh man, you gotta kill everything. Too smoothly today. Things are going a little too smoothly. Ah, wah, wah, wah. What's this thing? Ah! Would that, would that have hurt me? Well, I guess I can do this thing, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go, go, go! Chest. 
Oh, I can get to this, um... Oh, wait, 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 what, what? Wait, what, 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 what? Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, meow. Come on, make it. Wee. Hold up. Wee. I feel like I'm cheating. Is this supposed to walk all the way around to get this? Oh, it's a Morax. It's a uh, Rex Lapis. Uh, Statue of the Seven. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. I don't think I've read that in a very long time. Whoa, look at that. It's kind of cool. Whoa. Very nice. Boop, 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 boop. Fully upgraded. <laughs> Fully upgraded some more. Whoa. Cool. Uh, leave. Chasm or Chasm Conqueror. More Primo Gems. Yeah, if you play the game, whenever there's new content like this, or Primo Gems really add up really quickly. <laughs> Which is very nice. I really like that. Oh, I think I'm going to end things here. I'll do these two myself, since it's probably more of the same. And I'll probably explore this area a little bit before continuing the story. I'm like really itching to just like look at every nook and cranny I can and find chests and do puzzles and stuff more than actually continuing the story at the moment. So yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll see you in the next one um, where I guess I'll continue this and uh, hopefully, actually no, I'll probably finish, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll record myself finishing this quest. When, when it says, like, oh, go talk to whoever for the reward. Hopefully that is telegraphed uh, obvious enough that I didn't accidentally, like, trigger it. <laughs> and uh, if you don't see me complete this quest, then I've accidentally triggered it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try my best to, uh, at the very least, capture the ending to this quest. And then I'll start on this one. Hopefully this quest is what opens up the chasm. And then uh, it doesn't dilly-dally too much and lets us go straight in there. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for watching, subscribe for me, and uh, goodbye.